hello guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we are going to see how we can find elements using ios predicate and ios class chain so both of these two options of finding elements uh, can help you to identify element in ios so they are specifically for ios application and if we talk about how they differ from ui automator so basically ios class chain and uh, ios predicate string these are the added functionality provided by apple and to leverage on the ui automation framework to help in doing ui automation framework but apm has created a wrapper of itself for these two uh, functionalities you can say provided by apple so it is trying to identify apm is trying to identify the elements uh, with the help of these two uh, functionalities provided by apple so if we go here so here we are going to see about these two things and so this is the link which is providing us with some good information like how ios predicate works and so it is like uh, the predicate string parser is a white space insensitive case sensitive with respect to keywords and support nested parenthetical expression so i mean it's like a kind of bit more technical but this is like something how it looks and uh, there are some basic comparisons which are being done in order to create a theory kind of thing to identify the elements and there are some uh, basic compound predicates like logical and logical or logical not and then there are some string comparisons like begins with contains ends with we are going to see the uses of some of these keywords and we will be trying to create a query so that we are able to find the element on the ios application so for this what i will do i will try to find the element in our ios application which is i think yeah contacts application so here we can see this is the contacts application which is provided by apple and it is already built in in the simulator so in order to launch this application what we need to do we need to go and we need to find the udid so i already have this uh, uh, sorry bundle id i already have the bundle id of this application but if you want to find i have already discussed in my previous video like how you can find the bundle id but if in case you are uh, still uh, don't know about that and haven't watched that video for a quick reference i will just show you how you can find the bundle id of the built-in application or ios so we are just going to type bundle id ios application on google and here you are going to get all the bundle id so here uh, this is the contact bundle id so i will just copy this and in my previous code i was showing you the built-in photo application but now i will just replace it with contact application and here the platform which i will be working on will be ios yeah so do keep in mind that you are passing the ios parameter and with this we are just going to create a new class and that java class name maybe we can write apm okay let's rename it to strategy ios now we will just refactor it so now what i will do i will just create a public method public main method and here i am going to just copy and paste these things now uh, what i am going to do in order to find the elements so i need to inspect them right so i already have my apm server and what i will do i will just start the server and i will try i already have the desired capability set so this is the desired capability to find and inspect the ios application i will just start the session so if i'm going to inspect anything you will see that uh, apm inspector will automatically generate some ios class chain and uh, but here i am interested in predicate string right so in order to write the predicates what i can do i need to find some unique elements so maybe if you go here then you will see that let's see let's parse it inside and go 
so i will try to narrow down my search so if you i go here you will see that it is giving me the ios class chain and it is also giving me the ios predicate right but uh, maybe sometime it can happen that you don't want to use the already automatically generated ios predicate string so what you can do in that case you can just try to create your own predicate string so here we will try to write our own predicate string so uh, we are going to inspect this john app please and we are going to try and create a predicate string so here i will just add an exception and now uh, we are going to find the locator so here what we can do if we try to find element using ios predicate we won't be getting the option i think here right now yeah so here we don't have the option of ios predicate so in that case i will just uh, remove this thing and here I will just pass like find by ios predicate and what is this this is actually a web element driver right so we are going to just pass the web element and now we will try if we are going to get the okay so it is going to be like this and now we are going to find the element by ios predicate now here we need to create a string which is going to match the element here and from which we can find the text or click or do whatever we want so uh, maybe uh, if i go back to the document of ios predicate so here you can see that uh, it should have it, it should begins with contains ends with like these kind of expressions right the string comparison so what i will do i will try to go here in the inspector and here i will see that if there is any unique label so yeah john at least is a unique label for me right so what i will do i will just go here and i will write using lay label and what that label will be having it should contain right so here is this right here it's saying it should contain string comparison should be contained begins with ends with right so i will just going to write in string contains sorry label contains and after that i am just going to pass that string so what i will do i will just do like this and here so i will just copy the text maybe from here so i'm not making any spelling mistake okay there is some error also okay i think we also need to pass the driver reference and now our query looks good now we will just try to see so what we are doing here we are just trying to find the element using predicate and if the label is uh, containing this john apris it will just get the text so we will just run it okay so you see the application is launching and let us see if it is able to find the text john up list and it is going to print it or not okay so there was some issue and the issue is an element cannot be located right so maybe us uh, what we need to do here we need to separate this thing so that identify this string right so so now i think it should work fine let us try again so you see it was able to find the text now if i want to click on this what i can do i can just uh, right click and it will also click here so yeah you see it opened this uh, join a please contact now you can also make use of uh, other parameters other queries to create your own string predicate now here if uh, i go here and uh, maybe say for example i want to write uh, so here you can use like contains begins with ends with label right and uh, here in this documentation there are some good ways like how you can create those predicate strings and uh, it is giving a good overview so maybe you can just go and 
look at this uh, document so it is also describing about the ios class chain strategy and basically you should avoid using xco uh, xpath in automating mobile application that's why these uh, strategies are very good in identifying the element now you can just go through these i will just try to add the link and you can go through these things but in the meantime let us try uh, creating a new predicate string so for that what i can do i will just write maybe something like uh, uh, begins with and uh, here what i will do i will pass a new string so for that i will just maybe let's see uh, say for example i want to click or get text of Anna so I will just change it with Anna and now if I try to run then let us see what is going to happen so now I have created a kind of new predicate string with begins with so you see it uh, clicked on Anna and likewise you can also keep on adding some additional information or maybe you can segregate on and keep on creating new queries like uh, you can also use and value begins with and these kind of things or so if you want to click on an element which is like having two of the one defined condition so you can just use or so these kind of things you can uh, do and you can try creating your own predicate string which can find elements with different logics and for ios class chain almost a similar approach and you should able to try and try finding the element with ios class chain but most of the time if i go here and i start the server what it will do so most of the time it will automatically generate a class chain so you can just automatically use it and if you want similar to predicate you can just try and creating your own class chain so say for example i am using this class chain right so if i go here and i write find by ios class chain and then here what i will do find by ios class chain string using yeah and here i will just pass the class chain so let us see if it is able to find the element using class chain so yeah see uh, so this is how you can make use of class chain but see like I think there is one issue with this class chain that it was not able to get the text uh, so if we go here we see that the text is actually missing in this class chain so in order to find a specific class chain maybe you need to narrow down your search and you need to keep digging inside until you find a unique class chain so this is like one of the uh, major drawbacks you can say from apm that uh, finding element is also a bit of very tricky so in order to find the unique characters maybe you need to keep going down until you find something which is very unique so maybe if you are going to use this let's try this and if we see if we are able to find the element using class chain so maybe here if we go here so yeah our label is visible now let us try to run this thing so now this time it should be able to find the text so yeah see hope you like my video do subscribe to my channel uh, do comment me and let me know if i need to improve on any if i am creating my video and also let me know if you want me to create any particular video in software testing automation testing or mobile application testing i will try to work on that so keep posting your suggestion in the comment box and i will try to create a video on that thank you